everyone. I, Su, your mathematics teacher, welcomes you all for the online classes of your class 5 subject mathematics. As you know, in our previous videos, we have started our chapter 3, Shapes and Patterns. So, here now we are going to continue our chapter number 3 only, Shapes and Patterns. So, our today's concept is 2D and 3D shapes. So, can you just see this book? Tell me, what is the shape of this book? Write it in your rough notebook. I'm just giving you some time. If you may, uh, it might be, many of you can say that this book is having a shape of rectangle. It can be. Let's check. If I show you the front face, the backward face, the top, bottom or any face, it's having different different shapes and in this book, it's rectangle only. All the views, if you see, it's having rectangle shape. But if I say you that in rectangle, there are only two things. One is the length and next is the breadth. So if you see only the length and breadth, so it means you are only seeing it two dimensions. That is length and its breadth. That's why you are saying that it's a rectangle. So rectangle has some length and some breadth. But now, if you see the thickness of this book, this is the thickness. So if you see the thickness of this book, so we will say that this book is having one more dimension. Except its length, breadth, it's having some thickness. So this thickness is known as the third dimension, that is its height. So now we can say, if we see the whole book, if we see the whole book, the complete book, so it is a 3D object, three dimensional object because it has three dimensions. That is length, breadth and its height which is known as thickness. But if you see only one face of the book, front, back, top, left, right or bottom. So it's having rectangle shape. Okay. Hmm. Now let's understand 2D and 3D shapes with some points as 2D means 2 dimensional, 3D means 3 dimensional. What are the 2 dimensions in 2 dimensional object or shape? It's length and breadth. What are the dimensions in 3D shape? Length, breadth and height. Here are 2 dimensions and here are 3 dimensions. So, let's take some examples of 2D shapes. Which Examples are rectangle, square, triangle or many more. Now, let's see the examples of 3D shapes. Examples of 3D are cone, cube, cuboid, cylinder and it can be many more. As we can see in this box, it has, if we see one face, so it is a 2D because it has length and its breadth. But if we see its thickness, so while seeing its thickness and the whole object, so it's having three dimensions, length, breadth and its thickness, which is its height. So it's a three dimensional object. And so it is, this object is having a shape of cuboid. Same like this, this object has a shape of cube and here cone, cylinder. So finally, I hope you all have understood about the concept of 2D and 3D objects. So I hope you have understood about what will be the shape of this book. Yes, if we see one face of the book, it's a two dimensional object. So, if we see one face, it is a rectangle. But if I am talking about the whole book, because I was talking about the whole book, so it's a 3D object and it has a cuboid shape. Here are some properties related to our 3D shapes. Faces. Faces means its surface. That how many number of surfaces, how many number of faces does these 3D shapes have? Then we will talk about how many number of sides or edges does it have. 
and then at last we will discuss about how many corners or vertices does the 3D shapes have. Here is your cube. So first understand what is a cube. So cube is a three dimensional shape because it has some length, some breadth and some thickness. So that is its height. But in this cube we can just observe its length, breadth and height are same. So it is a cube. As you can see here are some squares. Square attached to it. So when we attach six squares means square means all sides are of equal length. One square is attached with second and then like this six squares are attached in a closed form. So then a cube is made. So now it's your time to tell me how many number of surfaces or we can say faces does a cube have. Write it in your rough notebook. Hmm.
have a flat face. This is circle and this is a curved face. So it has two faces, one curved and one flat. And now let's find about its number of edges. So this circular edge, here is the edge. So it has only one edge. And then number of vertices or we can say vertex, it has only one corner at the top. So it has only one vertex. Hmm. So I have written my answer in my sheet about cone, number of faces, edges and vertices. Now let's write about cylinder. Let's find about it. So here is your, the last one, cylinder. As you can see, this is a bottle of some, okay, object. Now, it's having some water in it, okay. So, you can observe this object as cylinder shape. You can observe many of the bottles or this bottle also, fabricol bottle also is also of your cylinder shape only or other things as well you can find. So, it's your time. Find the number of faces, edges and corners. I hope you all might have written your answer. Now let's find about it. So it has the top face, the bottom face and one curved face. So the cylinder has three faces. Okay, one curved, one top and one bottom. So two flat faces and one curved face. So in all it has three faces. Now let's find about its number of edges. Number of edges it has one at the top. And second at the bottom. So two edges it have. Now the last one. Number of vertices. It does not have, have corner in any way. So the number of vertices or vertex is zero. There are, There is no vertex in this shape of cylinder. So let's write our answer here in our sheet. Hmm. Three faces and then number of sides. Two edges and vertex is zero. So it's your time now to draw the whole table in your rough notebook. This was all for today's video. I am going to give you some homework related to this concept only which is chapter 3 shapes and patterns mental maths. In mental maths several questions are given related to this 3D shapes and its properties only. So kindly do the given mental maths in your mental in your maths book only as the PDF is also uploaded on the school website. So all the viewers are requested to kindly mention your name, class and section in the comment section of this video so as to view it in form of your attendance. Kindly like and subscribe my video. Thank you for watching.